welcome you to another session of tips and tricks. In this session, we're going to have a quick look at annotation scale. Now, annotation scale can make it easier for you to navigate around your sketch environment, for example. So let's take a look. So I'm going to start a sketch on my XY plane. I'm then going to very quickly just create a two point rectangle from the center. And let's just go maybe 100, maybe 100, and zoom to my extent, and finish that command. So what am I looking at here? We've got our dimensions. We have a center point in the middle. And if I turn on the visibility for my geometrical constraints, we can also see there are several geometrical constraints, whether they have horizontal constraints or parallel constraints or perpendicular constraints. We've also got coincident constraints at the end of each of our line segments. Now, for some people, it can be quite difficult to actually visualize these or see them. Especially this, um, the point in the center. I mean, if I come back, that point in the center there, and it can be easily deleted that as well. So if I just bring everything back into that specific sketch, so I'm just going to finish this sketch off for now, zoom to my extent, and to change the annotation scale itself, we would go to the Tools tab. We then access the Application Options, and you'll then notice that inside the Application Options, there is an option here called Annotation Scale, and it's set to 1 as a default. Now I'm just going to update that to 2. You'll then notice that straight away, my, the scale of my dimensions has expanded and the scale of my center point has also expanded too. If I edit that sketch, you can then see that the glyphs from the geometrical constraints have also become larger. Mm -hmm.